The question of knowledge and how do we know things is not an irrelevant question. It's, in fact, um, the very most important question you can possibly ask because um, nowadays, since people, um, people get their evidence from, um, from either watching TV or from hearing people that they uh, believe are great people and respect more, they read stuff in books. And according to Rabbi Moshe ben Maimon, that's not called knowing anything. Whatever you read in books, you don't know that. What you do know is what you know by reason, not what you've read somebody else's reason, but what you self-know from reason, which you start from not abstract principles, but from principles that are self-evident, like uh, if A equals B, then B equals A, okay? And then you can work up from that, um, or else you have empirical evidence. These are the only two types of ways you can know something to Rabbi Moshe ben Maimon, to uh, the the old the the school of the um, people right like Rabbi Sadigon, the Chovot the Vavot, the great Jewish sages of the Middle Ages that dealt with uh, questions of philosophical issues. There were the other sages that dealt with Talmudic issues, but the sages that dealt with the Talmudic issues, this was their consensus that you need to know stuff either by um, um, reason or by evidence, um, empirical evidence, not not what's written in books or you heard from people, or even if you respect these people very much, it's still not called evidence, it's called an opinion. So um, that comes to the degree of, some, of a place like even like the Chovot Levavot, that's the res res responsibilities of the heart, that book, duties of the heart, responsibilities of the heart, uh, or I guess obligations of the heart would be the word for it. Um, obligations of the heart, that particular book. So he, so he says that um, attachment with God doesn't, isn't by uh, any type of emotional means. When the Torah commands us to be attached to God, it means um, by, by reason. And it's when a person, um, by his reason, um, gets to, gets to uh, be connected with God's reason, so then that's, that's called attachment with God. That's, in, in general, the type of um, attachment with God that was understood by the Jewish uh, thinkers of the Middle Ages. So when our reason gets attached to the reason of God, or the under, uh, somehow some aspect of of God, that's we call that that w uh, not that God is divided, God forbid, but like some aspect of us gets attached to God in this way. So that's called attachment with God, not not some by some type of emotional uh, high. Um, okay, so uh, but then that but again like the only but again the only type of evidence that would be acceptable to the, the Jewish thinkers would be empirical or rationalist evidence, not. Not uh, not reading anything in any books. That's just not called knowing. It's just called opinion. Okay. Thank you.